Are you struggling with knowing how to use the pedal? Do you come in too early, too late, or are you just not really sure how to use the sustain pedals to create beautiful music? Hi, I'm Jayza, and today I'm gonna to teach you all about the sustain pedal and how to use it properly. Let's get into it. So the number one rule to pedaling is this. Change the pedal when the chords change on the music. So. Now the most common mistake I see students do is this. Now what's happening there? As I was playing that, I was actually lifting my hands and lifting my feet at the same time. Now our brains just absolutely hate doing multiple things at one time, right? Uh, and the thing that most of us will gravitate to is to do the same thing with our hands and our feet. But what that does is it actually creates a big break in your music. I'll just show you what I mean again. Pretty strange, pretty strange to have those little breaks in your music. What you're supposed to do is this, you change the pedal, you go up and down at the same time as when you play your next note in the next chord. Let me say that again. So you're changing your pedal at the same time, you're doing this with your feet, you're changing the pedal at the very same time as when you play the first note of the next chord. I'll do that in super slow motion so you can see what I mean. Change, 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 change. Now the great news about learning how to use the pedal is once you've learned it once, you can apply that to every piece under the sun and it's all the same technique. What, what you gotta do is to try and get that timing correctly. So remember, you're changing at the same time as when you play that next note of the next chord, okay? I've given you quite a few examples there, but a lot of it's gonna be you experimenting with yourself and also with your teacher. Uh, so try it again and again, and try and film yourself as well. So that's the video for today. My name is Jayza. I hope you found some helpful tips for today. Remember to comment, ask me some questions. I'd love to help you with your piano problems. Uh, and subscribe to my channel so you get more educational content like this. See you in the next video.